One of the most well-known and inspiring stories in the Bible, the story of David and Goliath, is a timeless testimony to the power of faith and courage. The classic confrontation between the shepherd boy David and the mighty Philistine warrior Goliath has become synonymous with the idea of an underdog facing impossible odds and emerging victorious. But what drove David to risk his life against such a fearsome opponent? And what can we learn from his actions? At the heart of David's decision to kill Goliath lies a deep understanding of the nature of God and his promises. David's faith in God and the conviction that the battle he was about to engage in was not his but the Lord's empowered him to stand against the seemingly invincible giant. By exploring this foundational aspect of the story, we can glean valuable insights into what it means to trust God and how faith can embolden us to face our giants in life. David's unwavering faith in God. From the outset, it is clear that David's primary motivation for taking on Goliath was not personal glory or a thirst for battle. Rather, it was an unwavering conviction in the power and faithfulness of the God he served. David boldly declared to King Saul, the Lord, who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. 1 Samuel 17, 37. His confidence was rooted in his deep relationship with God and a recognition of God's ability to deliver him from danger. Moreover, David's trust in God extended beyond his personal safety. When he stood before Goliath, David proclaimed, This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. 1 Samuel 17, 46. He saw the battle as an opportunity to display God's greatness and uphold his name, trusting fully in the Lord's power and faithfulness. The true battle, God versus the enemies of his people. While the physical confrontation between David and Goliath is the centerpiece of the story, the true battle was of a spiritual nature, pitting the living God against the enemies of his people. When Goliath taunted the Israelites, challenging them to send out a champion to fight him in single combat, he was actually defying the God of Israel, 1 Samuel 17, 10. In David's eyes, it was the honor and reputation of the Lord that was at stake, and this drove him to step forward to defend his name. David recognized that the Philistines' defiance of God's people was, in essence, a defiance of God himself. His decision to fight Goliath was not based on reckless self-confidence, but a deep understanding of the larger spiritual context of the conflict. By defeating Goliath, David demonstrated that not only was the God of Israel real, but that he was more powerful than any earthly force or adversary. An ordinary person called to do extraordinary things. What makes David's victory over Goliath so remarkable and so inspiring to generations of Christians is the fact that he was an ordinary person called by God to perform an extraordinary task. David was not a trained warrior, nor did he possess the physical attributes of a fearsome combatant. He was a young shepherd, armed only with his faith and a simple sling. This aspect of the story demonstrates that God's power is not limited by human strength or abilities. David's faith-filled reliance on God's strength allowed the Lord to work through him in a miraculous way that would have been impossible if he had relied solely on his own capabilities. This teaches us a valuable lesson that when God calls us to accomplish a particular task, it is not our own abilities but his power that ensures our success. Modeling our spiritual battles. After David's example, as Christians, we will face our own spiritual giants and adversaries at various points in our lives. Whether it is doubt, temptation, or any other challenge that threatens our spiritual well-being, we can look to David's example for guidance in confronting these battles. His faith in God and his willingness to rely on the Lord's strength rather than his own can be a model for our own spiritual warfare. Remembering that our true battle is not with flesh and blood, but with the spiritual forces of evil, Ephesians 6.12, we can take courage in the knowledge that the same God who empowered David to defeat Goliath is on our side. By putting our trust in God and standing firm in our faith, we can be assured of the ultimate victory over the spiritual giants that threaten our relationship with the Lord. Trusting God and standing firm in our faith, the story of David and Goliath teaches us one crucial truth. 
the importance of trusting God and standing firm in our faith. As believers, we must maintain unyielding faith in the goodness, power, and faithfulness of God. Even when circumstances appear insurmountable or the enemy seems invincible, we must rely on God and lean into our faith in His promises. David's triumph over Goliath is not simply the victory of a young man over a giant. It is a powerful testament to the omnipotence of God in the lives of His people. When we choose to trust God and stand firm in our faith, we will find that we too can overcome seemingly impossible situations in the name of the God whom we serve. The story of David and Goliath is a profound reminder of the power of faith in God's ability to deliver us from the giants in our lives. Through David's unwavering faith, we see the importance of trusting God, recognizing the spiritual nature of our battles, and understanding that the Lord can use ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary feats. By relying on the Lord's strength and standing firm in our faith, we can confront and ultimately emerge victorious over the spiritual giants that threaten our spiritual well-being. David's remarkable defeat of Goliath is more than just an inspiring account of courage and victory. It is a powerful testament to the supremacy of faith in God above human reasoning and strength. As Christians, we have the opportunity to model our faith after David's, boldly confronting our spiritual adversaries with a faith rooted in the knowledge that God is on our side, ready to empower us to overcome any challenge. So let us be inspired by David's courageous act and learn to trust God wholly in every situation, knowing that His power is not limited by our human abilities or weaknesses. As we stand firm in our faith, the story of David and Goliath can become a living testimony in our own lives, a testament to what can be achieved when we trust God and stand firm on His promises.